Good morning all of you. Today we will see a new topic, group theory. It is very very important for UG and PG courses and also it has lot of applications which we will discuss later. There are two important terms in group theory. They are symmetry elements and symmetry operations. What are we will see what are symmetry elements, what are symmetry operations. Distinguish between the symmetry elements and symmetry operations. What are symmetry elements? A symmetry element is a geometric entity. A symmetric element is a geometric entity. It is a line, it may be a plane or mirror or it may be a point. About which an inversion, rotation or reflection is carried out in order to obtain an equivalent configuration or equivalent orientation. So, what are symmetry elements? Symmetry elements are line, plane, mirror plane or a point through which these Symmetry operations such as inversion, rotation, reflections are carried out to obtain an equivalent orientation. In other words, symmetry elements are defined. A symmetry operation is carried out with respect to points, geometric entities such as points, lines or mirror, planes. The latter being called the symmetry elements. Here we will see what is a symmetry operation. A symmetry operation is nothing but a movement of molecule such as a rotation of molecule about a line or a reflection about a mirror plane or an inversion about a point in order to get an equivalent orientation. Okay. We will see further with the examples you will understand. A symmetry operation is also defined in other words. It is an operation performed on an object or a molecule which leaves the molecule in a new configuration. After the operation, the molecule will be in new configuration that is indistinguishable from and superimposable on the original configuration. Okay. Let us differentiate the symmetry elements and symmetry operations and types of symmetry elements and symmetry operations. As you see, there are four types of symmetry elements. One, center of symmetry it is also called inversion center. The operation corresponding to symmetry element, inversion center or center of symmetry is called inversion operation. It is represented by Sohan Fly's symbol. It is I. The second symmetry element is plane of symmetry. The symmetry operation is reflection, reflection through a mirror. It is represented by a simple sigma. The third symmetry element is axis of symmetry. The symmetry operation corresponding to axis of symmetry is a line, is rotation by theta by rotation theta by 2 pi by n. 2 pi by n is 360 divided by n. Where n is the n is the order of rotational symmetry, rotational axis of symmetry. Where n is the, for example, C1 360, C2, C2 means 180 degree. By rotation about 180 degree, you will get this equivalent configuration. You will get equivalent configuration. You will we will see now uh, with the examples. Okay. The fourth important 
one is improper axis of symmetry it is also called compound symmetry operation it is a compound because it involves rotation followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the axis of symmetry remember rotation there are two operations combined in this uh, improper axis rotation and then reflection in a plane mirror plane perpendicular to the axis this axis of symmetry okay now the fifth it is represented by sn okay and the fifth symmetry element is identity element the symmetry operation is called identity operation doing nothing on the molecule when we do when we don't carry out any operation the molecule will be in the same configuration so it is e it is represented by capital e okay let us see one by one the center of symmetry what is center of symmetry a point in the molecule a point in the molecule from which lines drawn to opposite directions for example a point in the molecule from which lines are drawn in the opposite direction in the opposite direction it will meet similar see it will meet similar points at exactly the same distance for example in this molecule this is a point from which lines are drawn in opposite directions will meet similar points h h chlorine and chlorine at exactly same distance d at exactly same distance for example n2 f2 pt cl4 and c2 h6 etc now see what is plane of symmetry define plane of symmetry your plane you see here your plane or mirror which divides the molecule into two equal halves such that one half is the exact mirror image of the other half what is uh, plane of symmetry a plane or a mirror which divides the molecule into two halves such that one half is exactly the mirror image of the rest okay for example this is a water molecule Uh, there are two hydrogens attached to oxygen okay now there is a plane drawn here and ha becomes hb ha actually ha ha becomes hb and hb becomes ha after one sigma v operation this is vertical plane of symmetry Uh, this is again called vertical plane of symmetry so the hydrogen the hydrogens are interchanged the configuration 1 and 2 are equivalent they are not same they are uh, equivalent uh, configurations after another i will carry out another sigma v reflection mirror plane operation now a comes this side and b comes this side and if you look at 1 and 3 are identical 1 and 3 are same 1 and 3 are same whereas 1 and 2 are equivalent configurations 1 and 3 are therefore sigma v square gives the identity operation we have done nothing 1 2 3 we have done nothing so sigma v square is equal to Yep. the product of two operation gives a new operation called identity element operation there are three types of plane of symmetry what are those vertical plane of symmetry we have seen we'll see further sigma v it is represented by sigma v horizontal plane of symmetry sigma h and the diagonal plane of symmetry it is represented by sigma d now we'll see vertical plane of symmetry 
using an example water this is a water molecule as you see in water molecule there are two vertical plane of symmetry there are two vertical plane of symmetry sigma this is uh, z axis and this is x axis and this is y axis or you can draw like this okay now the plane the plane and the c2 axis see this is the c2 axis uh, you can rotate the molecule you can rotate the molecule around this line um, called c2 axis of symmetry it possess the c2 axis of symmetry now sigma x is z there is sigma x is z vertical plane of symmetry through the molecule it is uh, through the molecule okay and another sigma b it is in the sigma y z sigma x is z plane sigma y z plane okay this is z and y axis this is y as you see this is y and this molecule also this operation also divides the molecule into two equal halves as we have seen earlier now what is the characteristic of vertical plane of symmetry it is often asked it contains the vertical plane of symmetry contains the c2 axis highest order of symmetry for example um, the vertical plane of symmetry passes through c2 axis of symmetry okay passes through c2 axis of symmetry therefore it contains the c2 the highest order of symmetry c2 is the highest order of symmetry for water molecule here we will see horizontal plane of symmetry it is represented by sigma h for example s of 6 it is an octahedral molecule with the octahedral geometry um, there are four equatorial fluorine atoms and there are two axial fluorine atoms there is a c4 axis of symmetry it consists of c4 axis of symmetry you can rotate through this okay and the plane also the plane having the the plane having the equatorial fluorine atoms is called horizontal plane the plane having the equatorial fluorine atoms these are all equatorial fluorine atoms or is called horizontal plane there is one horizontal plane and perpendicular you see this is the principal axis of symmetry c4 okay it is perpendicular the horizontal plane of symmetry is perpendicular to c4 axis of symmetry highest order of symmetry whereas vertical plane of symmetry is parallel to the vertical whereas the previous vertical plane of symmetry is parallel to or it contains the highest order of symmetry okay the third diagonal plane of symmetry is represented by sigma d for example square planar molecule let us take square square planar molecule ptcl4 it consists of uh, you see c2 axis c2 axis uh, and another c2 axis perpendicular this c2 axis are perpendicular now these are diagonal they are these are diagonally connected chlorine atoms platinum the chlorine atoms are diagonally connected diagonally connected so the mirror plane the plane of symmetry through this through this uh, diagonal is called diagonal plane of symmetry okay so as you see there are two diagonals there are two diagonals therefore there are two diagonal planes of symmetry in the case of um, square plane or molecule it bisects what is the characteristic of diagonal plane of symmetry it bisects the for example it bisects this uh, it bisects the two c2 axis of symmetry it bisects the angle between the two c2 it is in between the c2 axis therefore in a, it is it is bisecting the 
2C2 axis of symmetry.